Hello everyone, this is Masdo. Today I'm gonna show you my f- top favorite runes for uh, Song Jin Wu. Okay, all right, let's go to the skill. Here we go. Uh, all right, there are uh, 11 skill currently for Song Jin Wu that you can use, and there's a couple that I use really often. Right now, I'm gonna show it to you uh, on Igris because Igris is really good for testing material. Now, the rune that I'm gonna use is uh, Armor Break Vacuum Wave, right? So this Armor Break Vacuum Wave is really good. It has Almighty Break, it can knock down, and also it gives enemy de- debuff that enemy will take 7% more damage for 12 seconds. It's really good for uh, Dragon 2 POD. And the second skill I'm gonna use is uh, Earth Shock which is a death dance rune and this rune give you extra 30% critical damage and also have bricks and for support I will use Cha, Min and Bora all of these three will act as a debuffer the Cha have Bran, Min have punishment and Bora have charm which if you total with everything uh, every debuff that I gonna inflict to the uh, to Igris, it will give enemy uh, approximately 37% more damage. So they take 37% more damage and take 12% more critical chance and 12% more critical damage. As you can see, there's a lot of debuff there. And the good thing is uh, the debuff from Vacuum Wave stacks with everything so uh, all of this damage taken debuff actually stacks to each other because punishment from min and charm from bora is a unique debuff and it doesn't overlap with uh, each other and on top of that you can add a 30 percent critical damage from earth shock uh, which is buff and i don't think it can stack with other type of critical damage because I, I've tried it before and it doesn't work at all. Okay, uh, I just want to show you guys that. Now, uh, let's get out. The next thing I'm gonna show you uh, is my favorite run. My other favorite runes that I unfortunately don't have yet because you know it's a luck based game and every time I open the rune chest I never get those runes. Okay, the first rune that I don't have yet and my favorite is Countering Break. These runes have a weak break but if you use it at the right moment, the weak break will become a heavy break, right? And it also gives you shield for more protection, which is really great. Oh, I forgot it also stunned the enemy. Okay, the next one is Dagger Toss Bombardment. This bombardment really good for uh, mob controlling, especially on, you know, goblins and stuff. It will make the enemy knock down as long as the dagger toss duration uh, on the field is up and they will take more damage when they knock down the next wait oh uh, let me see okay we have cutting rush uh, fulgens uh this is one of my favorite because it has a really fast uh, animation i really like a flashy animation uh, skill because it uh when i use it on a battlefield off time it really cut a lot of time uh, for a speed run, so it's, this is really good. And on top of that, it also buff you with a uh, critical damage. All, although it's a little bit lower than uh, you know Earth Shock, it's only twenty percent, right? The next one I don't have yet. I think it's a, uh, I think it's a black hole. Yeah, I think it. Yeah, it's black hole. I don't have black hole yet. Black hole. I think everyone must have this because. Uh, it's really important on some stage, especially the orc, orc one. I really hate orcs. It's a new type of enemy that I really hate. 
uh, because orcs is so annoying they attack really fast and black hole is really con uh, convenient to make the orc uh, stay at their place now uh, I'm gonna show you my top one favorite skill rune skill uh, it is a uh, vertical arts vertical arts we have vertical arts vertical arts uh, is like black hole but it's way more faster for faster usage right uh, it's more way more flashy uh, uh, that's the word I guess flashy because uh, when I use it on battlefield of time it gather uh, the mobs in a really fast time so it will cut a lot of time in battlefield of time I'm gonna use armor brick vacuum with just to show you uh, later on the boss stage that uh, the boss will take a lot of more damage but the main one uh, I want to show you is a vertical art crosshair the fire one vertical art fire okay so the thing about vertical art fire is uh, you push back the enemy and the enemy will get uh, airborne right and then after the airborne you can uh, cast the QTE on Jinwoo which the QTE will gather the enemy in one place and eliminate it really quick but uh, if you can kill the enemy faster with just you know the vertical arch is way more better but if uh, if you use Q QTE you will be teleported uh, to the nearest enemy so it will you know eliminate the walking time from uh, point to point uh, point A to point B now, uh, despite being a, a crowd control skill, I would say Vertical Art Crosshair also can deal more damage to elite bosses like this and uh, elite monster, elite monster and bosses, which is really great because you have a like crowd control and a boss killing capability in one skill, right? Okay, here we go. This is the boss. I'm gonna try. Uh, inflict a shadow step which is decrease 60% defense of enemy and then give uh, the boss brand charm and punishment at the same time I'm gonna use ult all right this is the ult and the damage will be quite impressive I would say it's a uh, 2.2 million it's really great compared to if I don't use you know, such debuff. Uh, even even on the penalty element, like I just side before it uh, deal like 500k almost, which is great because the damage is cut uh, has been cut by 50% or something. So the actual damage should be around 800 to. Uh, 70 750 or 800 or so all right I'm, I'm not gonna try hard in this stage because I just wanna show uh, that the damage that you would do with all of this uh, damage taken debuff is really insane especially if you're well I'm I'm a free to play so I don't really have a big damage but I'm kind of proud of my uh, damage currently <laughs> all right uh, I'm gonna do another ultimate if you know if my expert set stack has been increased after some time so it's uh, my damage should increase quite a bit quite a bit I guess all right here we go zero step uh, I actually use you know Tetris Grimoire and it has deep corrosion which increased 24% more to uh, damage to the weaker element but ultimate has no element so yeah it, it's kinda useless all right how many uh, how much damage okay 2.7 million so it increased like you know 500k or something right 500k is good Okay, so I mentioned about Tetris Grimoire before, right? Tetris Grimoire is one of the best 
if not the best uh, support weapon, uh, especially if you have A1, uh, the enemy will take an uh, extra 24% more damage if they are your uh, the their weakness element is matched with yours. So basically, if you run uh, on POD uh, the dragon on a mono element team, and you inflict the deep erosion, it will uh, the dragon will take 24 more damage, 20 24% more damage uh, from your team, which is really great because it's a debuff. It affects everything, and of course, if you bring a armor break vacuum wave, it will add seven percent more damage second, and uh, dead dance or shock will add thirty percent more critical damage to your Jinwu, which make will make your Jinwu damage even more high. And um, but uh, the first thing is that your characters and your Jinwu must have a critical rate of fifteen percent cap, so it will make your uh, damage even more bigger after all of those debuff and buffs. I think that's all I want to talk about. And here are some cults that you can use in game. It will give you 500 essence stones, 20 uh, piece of weapon enhancement, and one design for upgrading weapon. I think that's all that I want to share with you today. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe my channel don't for, uh, also don't forget to support me at netmarble partner create a uh, creator partner uh, i will put the link on the description thank you for watching uh, see you next time